what this means is that the acute phase of the emergency is over. And uh, it does not mean, what it, the important thing to understand is it does not mean that COVID no longer presents a threat. COVID still is very much a threat to human health all around, around the world. But why they, they said that the emergency phase is over and the Director General accepted this advice was for several reasons that the number of hospitalizations, the number of people in intensive care has dropped, the death rate has dropped, and also the world has become much better at looking at where the virus is, doing the understanding the variants, which don't seem to be associated with increased severity. And also there are very high levels of population immunity, thanks to the extraordinary work to get vaccines developed and then to get the vaccines into people's arms. And of course, many, many people have also been infected by the virus itself, have been exposed. So those two things have built up a strong level of immunity in populations around the world. So that was the main reason that the committee mm. said that COVID-19 no longer poses an acute emergency, but they also said we really need to transition into managing it as a remaining, a continuing threat to human health. The virus is here to stay and countries must, and this is very much one of the recommendations that's coming out of this, they must integrate COVID-19 surveillance and response activities into their routine health programs, particularly their health programs for respiratory illness diseases. And, and we certainly should not mm -hmm. let our guard down.